What's up everybody? My name is Taylor O'Connor and I play in the progressive funk rock group Mosey Beat. Today I want to talk to you about an amazing alternative to using a traditional whammy bar. It's called the Jake Blade. The Jake Blade is a unique take on using a traditional whammy bar originally invented for Jake Sinninger of Humphreys McGee. This teardrop shaped metal he would pull on the back of his bridge, but they invented this so he could grab this instead. It's super unique and very easy to get used to. I've been using it for a decade and I want to share with you a couple of its uses. One of the ways you can use it is a subtle vibrato effect to give your chords a little bit more depth and dimension when you're strumming. Another great way to use this tool is when you're doing harmonics and pinch harmonics. You can really dive that guitar down like Eddie would. Another thing you can do is you can use it to flutter your notes like you would when you tap your whammy bar. The touch of this blade is so much smoother than using a traditional whammy bar. Once you get used to flicking your hand back there, you'll see how great this thing really is. Another really good advantage to using a Jake blade is you don't have to do anything to get that stinking bar out of the way of your knobs or your five-way selectors. My very first Jake blade was on this Charvel here. When I bought the blade, I had to modify the post so it fit inside the bridge, but 10 years later, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Have fun playing, everybody, and make sure you check out Rough Gauge online to get yourself a Jake blade for a GNL, a PRS, a Fender, or even a Floyd Rose bridge. We'll see you on the next time.